okay in, in this video let's go and see the out how, how to protect a spreadsheet like with the password uh, let's start with the drive i'll open my drive we'll create a new sheet here new google sheet okay let's name it as uh, password protect okay uh, let's have some data in it We're gonna protect this file uh, using password. So for that, uh, here you can see that extension and app script. Go to this app script. We're gonna develop a script here, uh, which is using the JavaScript. So we're gonna code it here. This function uh, will help us to protect this uh, file which we created now. So let's start with this function. Sheet app dot get active spreadsheet. This one, this function, yeah. So this will this function will returns the current. Uh, this func so this function will returns the currently active spreadsheet. We'll catch it in a variable, yeah. Let's create an UI for the spreadsheet app. Yeah, you can we can use this get UI function. So this get UI function will return an instant of the spreadsheet's user interface environment. So with that we can. Uh, it, it allows us to script the features like menus, dialogues, and sidebars. Uh, we'll catch this in a separate variable. Uh, let UI equal to. Now we can create a prompt box with this UI. UI dot. Uh, it is through showing prompt, right? We can select this function. Yeah, uh, it will accept the uh, argument as first argument as a string one. We can type like enter password. So this this string will be displayed in the prompt, which which we'll see later. After that, in the second argument, we can give the button set what are all the button set you wish to have in your prompt box you can give it i wish to have only the ok button for this prompt box so let let's have only this ok button button set dot ok so let's catch this in a separate variable now uh, in this prompt box we will be having a uh, input box for the password and a ok button uh, the user will type their password and, and click ok so we have to capture the text which user entering and also we have to capture the response uh, like uh, which button user have clicked like uh, cancel or ok so first catch this uh, button what he has what the user have selected so result dot yeah 
get selected button so you can see that gets the button this one returns that gets the button that user click to dismiss the dialog if the user click the close button that is included in every dialog status bar this method returns so uh, so this get selected button will returns what 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 is the button the user have been selected so let's ca catch it in a separate variable button equals so we also need to catch the uh, text which entered in the prompt so result dot get response text this will catch the text which the user has been entered so we'll we'll catch it in this also in a separate variable okay now uh, let's have a condition if button equals to equals to ua dot button dot ok and also topic equals to equals to uh, we can have a password here L let's have a pass at one two three so what this condition says is like if a user uh, entered password as pass at 123 and uh, click to ok button so if if these two conditions satisfied it will th this condition will execute this block will get executed so we can have an alert here as password enter successfully so the positive case has been done so when the user enter the correct password and click on ok it will alert as password entered successfully if the user entered the wrong password or clicked the cancel button or uh, other than ok so such neg for such negative scenarios uh, we can have an else block okay uh, so to execute this we'll let's create a dummy variable password equal to and button equals to a dot button let's have cancel okay we can create an another prompt box here prompt a here like pmt equal to ui dot prompt so in this negative scenario the user might have clicked the wrong button or might have enter the uh, wrong password so we will give this text like providing password is mandatory so this prompt box also will have only the ok button set so we'll have this button set to only work with the ok option okay now once this uh, user has entered a different password or different uh, clicked a different button this prompt box will be showing like will be showing like providing password is mandatory with the ok button again they have to enter the password and click ok so let's catch the those response and the uh, button selected again in the cells so t dot get response text
pt equal to pmt dot hit selected button so uh, let's see let's say if the user has again also one more time entered the wrong password or clicked a different button so this else block will finish and uh, and it uh, allow you to edit the file right uh, so that shouldn't be happen so once the user has create, provided you the correct password and clicked on the correct ok button other than else close or cancel button this prompt box should be uh, prompting again and again once it once they are done it correctly so we will have it in a loop once they are done it correctly other than this loop will go on infinity so we will have it in a while loop We'll have it in a wide loop and we'll have a condition as uh, password not equal to uh, at one two three or bt not equals to wait dot button dot okay so this condition will say like uh, whether password is pass at 1 2 3 or button is not selected is not okay so, so any of these conditions gets failed it it will again and again prompt this prompt box so uh, that's why we have this while loop once they enter it correctly it will exit of uh, out of this while loop so we have an alert after this while loop this it is entered successfully yeah. as an entered successfully yeah we can have this here so we'll save the project we have done with the coding after you have finished the coding you have to set up a trigger we'll go to the trigger here we'll add a trigger so uh, in this trigger uh, choose which function you have to run at the time we have only created one function that is my function it is selected here and deployment it, uh, we can have it as head here source uh, we can uh, it is not a time driven it is not from the calendar we have directly driven it from the spreadsheet so we can have it as spreadsheet so it is a uh, we have done a password protected uh, file for a spreadsheet so whenever you open a file the, it, the password should ask for a file right so we can set it as uh, even type as on open we have other options like on edit on change on form submit uh, it can be used in some other scenarios like uh, this for this scenarios on open will be uh, good so uh, for failure when we should be notified we have uh, these options we can select notify me immediately and let's save it so uh, while saving this uh, you will be uh, prompted for the authentication so uh, see here yeah it is prompted for authentication you can select your uh, gmail account and uh, it will show like this uh, click on advanced and then go to untitled project and save now it will ask for an allow option click on the allow okay after allowing the authentication the trigger has been created you can see it here now let's check whether this function works or not we'll close this now so. now let's check this code how it works let me open this password protect file so it's loading after loading it it prompt you this enter password uh, will enter a wrong password something okay it will throw you this prompt box again we have coded right providing password is mandatory in the else loop again, again i'm 
entering wrong password and clicking ok it won't allow you if, if you and didn't enter any password and select ok also it won't enter you and if you cancel the close this prompt box also it will tell you to enter into the sheet so we should have enter the correct password pass at one two three and select ok it will alert you as password enter successfully and it, and after that you can able to edit the sheet so after that if you want to turn off this uh, tri trigger you have to again go to this extension app script and you have to go to this trigger here click this three dots and delete the trigger yeah give delete forever now the trigger has been deleted but the code will be there in your app script and until unless you have created a trigger for this code it it will it won't work there so uh, i have removed the trigger and i'll again open this file after deleting the trigger i am opening this uh, file again it's loading yeah it's done uh, the prompt it's not prompting anything as we have removed the trigger so uh, this is how we can make your uh, spreadsheet password protected with the help of this uh, function which i created uh, don't worry i also show, share this functions in the description you can make use of it yeah thank you